What if we told you there's a company out there that has over $158 million in investor funding raised in under three years, 100 million of which are from Elon Musk, founder and CEO of Tesla. They also utilize over 90 of the top neuroscientists from universities all over the country and is currently researching how to implant probes into human brains in order to translate information gathered into binary code easily understood by computers and humans alike. That company you ask is Neuralink. We would like to welcome you to our tech talk where we explore the reality that is this company and the implications of it for today, tomorrow, and the future. So what is Neuralink? Neuralink is basically an application that connects the brain to everyday technology by building devices that will essentially help people with paralysis communicate better with the world and they're basically implantable brain machine interfaces. Neuralink was founded by Mosseini and Randolph Nudo who are both uh, neurotech researchers and they were approached by Elon Musk to sell the company and after further negotiations they sold it to Elon Musk who is the current CEO of the company. There's also eight other partners who are all experts in areas such as neuroscience, robotics, machinery, biochemistry, and applied mathematics. Neuralink's overall purpose is to help people with spinal cord injury to control computers and mobile devices directly through their brain. The application tries to connect the thousands of neurons in the brain and cords, neural activity, to perform tasks that the person is thinking about. The original purpose of Neuralink was to help people with paralysis control computers, mobile devices, and the technology could have the potential to help people with various injuries and neurological disorders. Let's move on Neuralink technologies. The first technique is probes composed of polyamide coated in a gold thread to be inserted into the brain through an automate process preferred by a surgical robot. It consists of wires that contain electrodes capable of locating electrical signal in the brain. Sensory area where wires are able to either amplification or the amplification of signal. The second technique is robot. Robots capable of interesting problems in rapid multiply to avoid trauma that can trigger a negative reaction from the body or brain. Insertion of Probos due to resistance can cause bodily reactions in which tissue is created to expel the probos and make them unusable. The third technique is electronic. Electronics application specific integrate circuit to create uh, 1536 channel recording system consists of 256 amplifiers and to convert information from neurons gathered by probes into binary code that allow greater understanding of brain function and ability to simulate neurons back to the brain. Now to go over the possible benefits of Neuralink. Before we begin, I would like to put a reminder out there that this technology has not yet shown any proof of the following benefits, since testing is still in the very early stages. With that said, none of this is made out of thin air and are based on intense neurological research. The current goal, goal of Neuralink is to medically assist those who suffer from paralysis by giving them their independence back through the simple control of computers and mobile devices using only their brain. 
However, the potential of this technology could range over all neurological disorders through a large jump in understanding of the human brain itself. In the future, Neuralink will also be able to completely restore sensory and movement functions of those unfortunate enough to lose them. And the ultimate benefit comes from the expansion of all interactions within the brain and the world around us. So then how exactly could this technology affect everyday life? Well, the answer is drastically. As previously stated, an increase in communication and understanding over the brain will lead to much better control over neurological disorders and would theoretically completely eliminate the direct drawbacks of paralysis. This communication also, having the ability to converse with our own technology, would lead to much more efficient browsing and researching, as well as a rapidly, rapidly speed up the way we communicate with each other. Let's talk about some of the responses Neuralink has already received in the industry. Since the start, feedback on Neuralink has been pretty messy. In turn, the reality of the project has been left somewhat a mystery. A number of theoretical solutions have been posed to explain the head of Elon Musk. What are his reasonings for creating such a headmastering device? Sources even as credible as MIT have described the device as highly speculative and being a neuroscience theater. Many other interesting ideas about Neuralink even being a Fitbit in your skull also come along, but the main reaction has to do with the bodily rejection that may occur. Brain-computer interface expert Mary Lou Jepson has even expressed tremendous concern about probes initiating unwanted responses in the human body. In addition, the CEO of Synchron, Thomas Oxley, even says it could be very long before anything like curing paralysis, deafness, blindness, or other disabilities can happen successfully. Overall, there appears to be high hopes for such a device, yet suspicions on the potential of the device to work properly have taken over. As far as criticisms for Neuralink go, most of the concerns are non-industry related. The president of the PETA has even challenged Elon Musk to behave like a pioneer and to implant the Neuralink chip in his own brain rather than exploiting smart, sensitive pigs who didn't volunteer for surgery. He infers that animals should be left out of pie in the sky projects. In addition, it would take several days before a technique that is well understood in lab animals such as rodents and non-human primates is actually deployed in patients. Additionally, the brain is less understood than rocket science. The brain is the most complex piece of highly organized active matter known to the universe. We do not understand how large-scale neural activity is organized to give rise to thoughts, percepts, consciousness, and actions. That being said, brain science is still largely unknown. It's been said that it's hard to out-engineer the brain if we don't understand how it works. The out-engineering that worked for SpaceX and Tesla may not work in the neuroscience world. Last but not least, hackers will have access to the brain if they can break through to the neural chip inside of it. This is perhaps one of the more far-fetched, but also most dangerous concerns of the neural chip. Overall, the lack of experience and knowledge with brain operations are the root of the criticisms for Neuralink. Will Neuralink change the world? We would like to think so, but the honest answer is maybe. There is still plenty of research to be done and obstacles to overcome before we are going to be able to see the true power of Neuralink at work. We would like to thank you for watching our presentation and hope that you have been enticed to keep up with the fascinating technology being developed by Neuralink and its partners.